Hello my soccer universe, next up Bundesliga teams and as I did for the Premier League and La Liga so far we're looking at all the Bundesliga teams that are 2023 in the Bundesliga that are in my collection well from last season I have lost a couple and I didn't gain any because the two promoted teams uh, Heidenheim and uh, Darmstadt it that way they're not the biggest ones out there so they're of course not in my collection at least yet but overall there again there are 13 teams i think it's a good number um and we're gonna walk through them we'll start with a few teams that actually are very near and dear to me because you know i have my four or five Bundesliga teams and i have quite a few that i have sympathies one of those i'm wearing stuttgart i have three stuttgart jerseys we actually start with stuttgart this is 97 98 we're going to look at the 97-98 away jersey. Glorious. Glorious. When Stuttgart released this for the last season as their um, away jersey again. And I saw this one and you had to get it. It, it is, you know, as a Milan fan, black and red. A little bit, little bit white. Those are my colors. Also, as a Lusk fan, black and white. But, you know, there's more black and red. I always love this hooped look. And... If you see it up close, there's many Stuttgart uh, crests in there. Uh, maybe the one downside is that this white strap doesn't wrap around. I think this would be the thing that would make it even better. But yeah, it's the pair. It's a great pair. Uh, it's just now the yellow one missing for a truly outstanding set. I have to say from a time when Stuttgart was actually really, really, really good. I have decided to populate the background now the other way around um, a little bit as I have done for the previous VVD videos because you see more jerseys there and otherwise they're hidden back there. Next up, it's one of the most recent editions but what a shirt it is and I've made a video about what, what, what I love with this shirt. I got this from my buddy Matt uh, in exchange for a Lazio jersey. And I'm so pleased with this one. This was actually not one in the Bundesliga. This was for the one season. The Bremer was now in the second Bundesliga. The 21-22 season. The home jersey. It has the two greens. Uh, darker and the lighter green. Maybe the sleeves in lighter green are a tad weird, I have to say. Other than that, there are so many details on it. I have made plenty of videos about it. So not going to rehash this. But I also like that the sponsor is just in green and white. Uh, it's a beautiful jersey. Absolutely love that, that the one. Bremen jerseys tend to be nice-ish, not always. This season, they are true standouts. Now the next one is among the first batch of Bundesliga jerseys that I got. Together with this one, actually, uh, I think they arrived on the same day. And it's this Köln away jersey. And yeah, it is weird that I got a Köln away jersey before I got a Köln home jersey. To be honest, Köln home jerseys most of the time are not that exciting. And I like red with the white sleeve, this Arsenal look. Rewe sponsor is my only Arima shirt, uh, which actually I never thought highly of Arima, but this one looks actually quite nice, I have to say. It's blank on the back. It's a rather simple jer uh, jer jersey. It's actually nice that there's you know, this tail down there. Um, can't complain. I really like it. And I've been using this quite a little bit. Okay. We go from, we stay in the Rhine region, we go to another one. You have seen this in a previous video that I made about the, my German club jerseys up there. So I'm not going to talk a lot about this Gladbach 1819 uh, home jersey. I know I ordered this from Classic Football shirts. I actually like the retro look except for the color I made recently, really, really bad. So really not much there, but this is my Gladbach jersey. I'm looking for another one like either black or in green. Okay, the season is 2021 and we're looking at Mainz. That was the first time that Mainz decided, okay, we need to have something unique and we went with this pattern. They only put it on the sleeves and of course all over the front where I know in, my re in the review video I actually didn't like that this was also on, on the front, but you know, I like the playfulness of the whole thing. Uh, they went to the next season where they reversed and put it all, uh, this pattern all here ugly sponsor that's maybe the one thing that i really dislike with this this one if you got rid of this and it's just a pre uh, Kermeling premium uh fenster then i think i would be all right with this shirt 
Uh, the other thing is, I bought this because I really want to have a Mainz jer jersey. For me, Mainz is a, not a classic Bundesliga team, but they have been up there now for quite a while and contributed two of the world's best coaches. So I guess they have a, you know, a reason to exist in my collection, a quite a good one. And, you know, they're, they're actually a fun team. Now, the one thing that I didn't realize, on the back it's a blank, it has also the uh, coat of arms of Mainz. What I didn't realize when I got this one, you know, you hear Kappa. You want to buy Kappa that it's not super tight. I went for double XL and then this is a rare regular fit. So the, um, the neckline is, let's say, very plunging. But other than that, it's a nice shirt. I actually like it. To, I like to have this one. It's also some golden accents here on the back. The next one is also from the 2021 season and it's also a shirt that I've shown you uh, in the last German Club Jerseys V video so I'm also not gonna talk too much about it. it's this Wolfsburg home jersey, a really wild one. It's the one where Oliver Glasner managed the team and they made it up into the champ, Champions League so I thought this might be worth getting. Yes, it's a wild design, it's a crazy color. My favorite part is when I wear, I wear this jersey my wife says I positively look sick because the green reflects and gives me such a pale uh, complexion. Uh, it's blank on the back uh, and there is a coat of arms of Wolfsburg in there which is actually looking very similar to the coat of arms of Linz, fun, funnily enough. Wolfsburg is going with this color now. I'm so and so. I think it, it's a bright spot so in that sense it's fun. Moving further up the table, another recent favorite of my, mine also because of Oliver Glasner, now he's gone, is Eintracht Frankfurt. But it's a team that actually always had some sympathies for, but never as much as like for Köln or Bremen or even um, Stuttgart in a while. But you know, Frankfurt, last season they played in white, so I knew I needed to get a white one. I saw, saw this one uh, from the Jaco era. I was at first not so impressed. However, when I, when I got this, this is one of the most interesting shirts I have. Uh, because while it says Paul Polyester, this has a very clothy, thick clothy feel with it, which is really cool. I absolutely love the crest here, which is um, a very nicely stitched on and it's the full color crest. Uh, Frankfurt have, have been a black version of this, but it should be in red and I really love, love this one. Krombach is a beer sponsor. Uh, I also love the little red accent here, although I would love to have it on the back side. But what I didn't realize at first, and when you look at it like that, you don't realize it so much, is that there is a very, very slim pinstripe pattern in there. And what's even cooler is that in the it's broken up and then it says in a cursive, um, it says Eintracht Frankfurt all over. That's a pretty cool feature. It's blank on the back is SGE Sportgemeinschaft Eintracht. And yeah, we have only one Jaco dot here, which is also, uh, you know, seeing this because usually now they have the Jaco dots all over. As I said, color construction is actually also not so bad, but it was not a jersey that I initially set out. This is a great one, but I have to say, this is probably one of the most interesting ones, as I said before, that, that I have actually really liked this one. Okay, let's go to a team that I actually don't like all that much. In fact, it's a team that, yeah, although they were they're, they're good, I never really found my liking for them. It's Bayer Leverkusen. I want to have one with the full color crest and I want to have one in red. Because to me, that's Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, the crest, I think, is actually not so bad, but the Bayer pill in there yeah, is a, li a little bit weird. Remember, they had these two squares on top of each other. That was actually awesome. But I think they never wore this on a jersey as far as I know. It's another Yako creation. I really like the retro feel of this, the diagonal um, shadow striping in there, which harks back to the one real title that they won. This was the UEFA Cup in 1988. Yes, they're not necessarily never cousin, although they have never won. The German league, or you know, they're always uh, second in a way. I really like the shirt. Can I tell you how annoyed I am that this season they will not have a red shirt? Because that means I may have to get a second one. Uh, on the back it says Werks 11, which means, you know, Company 11 or Works 11, because that's what they are. They work for the buyer company. Uh, I think it's, it's, over a re it's a really nice shirt. 
I gotta admit, I also like the detailing on the crest in there. So you know, despite I'm not a big favorite, uh, a, a big fan of this team, I think the shirt is nice. Okay, we are here. I actually went through the jersey that I'm coming up. I had to exchange uh, one because otherwise it would get very, very dark now because we're gonna have a lot of dark jerseys coming up. And the next one is a really, really dark one, a really, really cool one. I think I also showed this to you in the German clubs video. This is Freiburg away jersey from uh, 2021. There's a theme, 2021. It's uh, when I really got crazy about getting jerseys uh for my videos um but i have to say i'm not a in favor of gray but i have to say this one really works it's my only quarter jersey uh so far i also like how it fits uh with the crest and yes freiburg plain red and white or <laughs> that they're all the club's colors i mean they usually play in red with some black but you know red is red and white what what they want but i really like that one um it's the, uh, among the last Hummel creation, there is the bird, the Greif, as it's called in German, is uh, all over the uh, front of the shirt. Uh, it is also here in this triangular inset. You can find it on both sides, which I think is a nice touch. I mean, you don't really see it, but you make it out when you get it. Also, like that there are the fans here <laughs> on the inside of the collar, although I never get why do I need to have this here. No one sees it unless you put, put it on. And then it says Heimat, Leidenschaft, Zukunft, which means uh, home, passion, future. Heimat is basically your home region in a way. A really nice home creation. We can, of course, talk about the sponsor, but you know, I argue this is among the last really, really nice Freiburg jerseys. Because when I switched over to Nike, haven't really liked Freiburg jerseys all, all that much, which is a shame because they're really good. I really would, would like to have one of theirs. It's just crazy what they're producing these days. The next jersey is also from 2021 season. And let me let you in in a secret. Uh, while well, Germany is known for the cult clubs, like St. Pauli or Union, I actually never was really a, a fan of that because I like my big city teams over there. Well, this one is a big city team. And actually, I come around big time time to it. I couldn't, I didn't really know how, how to feel about Union Berlin. But I have to say, they, ever since they are up, they are the best team in Berlin. And I knew I needed to get an Union Berlin jersey. I found this one just before the war broke out uh, at a Ukrainian seller without the sponsor, which makes it a little bit bare bones. But I have to say that the one thing I always annoy me with Union Berlin uh, jerseys until last season probably. I just read with a little bit of white, it's like a template. However, here there is a little bit of yellow, which makes this jersey a bit more fun. Um, the Union Berlin crest is one of the curious ones out there. It's very, very wide and that it's still in the frame, I think is, is endearing, let's put it that way. Uh, and to me, it's always funny to see a cult club in a way with a standard Adidas jersey. It, I always find this a little bit weird. I, I think that a smaller brand would fit better there. Uh, it's also cool that this celebrates 100 years of the stadium and the Altenfürsterei, so that also makes it nice. Yeah, it's my Union Berlin jersey. Nothing fancy, but I actually, I probably, if I can find one, I would like to get one of uh, an alternate one, like a darker one. They had some really nice ones there too, but don't find them too often, to be honest. Okay, let's go to the complete opposite and let's open the can. It's probably the team I like least in Germany in a way, but then on the other side, you know, they are one of the few that could potentially challenge Bayern, so maybe we want to have that. It's, I'm very, very, very conflicted. This was my first jersey with a Red Bull logo on there. Uh, yeah, my standards have really, really slipped, but I have to say when I saw this one, I like it. I like the colors of this. I really like the way this is done. It's a black jersey that's actually colorful and that I find cool. <laughs> logo, bad, although it uses the bad soccer ball, but at least it has it twisted, so it makes it look not so bad. But I have to say, uh, I really like how this all works together. It says the Roten Bullen, you also got it with RB Leipzig and then yeah, you can do anything. The one thing I will never forget when I got this, um, it came in a package 
where the address says this is from Red Bull Dortmund and that just does not sound right. But hey, it's a nice jersey, I gotta say, even though it has the weird color. I promise you it will get dark up there and maybe the next jersey I hang here. For Dortmund, I chose the 1819 away because the home jersey you've already seen a few times. This one I saw during the last vacation uh, for a very reasonable price. I want to say 20 or something like that with a name set, Axel Witzel. And it, it's an original. It has even the Bundesliga patch. So it was a no-brainer. And I remember this uh, template from Puma. I actually enjoyed this one. I actually like that there's a little, this, this yellow headed pattern. I mean, it's all screen printed on, but the yellow pattern is actually pretty cool. And yeah, the even expansive white. This is this is a really really nice shirt. And then yeah, Axel Witzel. Yeah, meanwhile, some other places. But 28 is not exactly my number, but it's cool. It's cool. I like the detailing on this number as well. So for that price, it was kind of a no-brainer. So I have a Dortmund away jersey. Jersey. Okay, now there's only one team left. And I really wanted to show you the dark jersey that I have from the 15-16 season, but I said, no, nah, I cannot show you only dark jerseys up there. It looks like it's night, although the sun is shining outside. I went with this one. This is from the 13-14 season, the Bayern away jersey, the Oktoberfest jersey. And I bought it right around Oktoberfest. And Sadly, it still has a few stains that I have to work on that I couldn't really get, get out. But this is an even better jersey than I thought it is. I mean, yes, it looks like this uh, traditional um, Trachten uh, shirt with the floppy color, which I like. And then, you know, you have the classical colors for that in the dark green and the red. So it's not very Bayern. Uh, even the sponsor is in brown and the Adidas logo. Um, I don't mind the Bayern logo here being full color because I think it also fits the look. I, I really like that the buttons are like uh, look like they're made from antlers, which also fits the look perfectly. Uh, the um, pattern here looks like these Bavarian tablecloths. I mean, we have that in Austria too. So that is also really, really cool. I mean, there's a lot of a lot going for it. Also has a little bit the seams here. Uh, and also the three stripes and I know these are not in the best condition. They also have some very, very fine patterning in there. So there's a lot going on. On the back it says Mir Sun Mir potentially all washed out. So yeah, I got it for a cheap price. But yeah, I thought this is actually in a way the perfect buy and away jersey, although it having barely any red. And given that the Champions League jersey this season also goes for this look, I thought it fits quite well. So yeah, so there you go, 13 jerseys that I've shown you from 13 Bundesliga teams in my collection. We're doubling up on uh, Stuttgart right here on the edge. Um, let me know what you think about these jer uh, jerseys, which one do you like in here and which one you don't. Gave you a lot of information about my feelings about uh, the German league, but you know, that's part of the fun of it. In any case, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.